Oh, hey. Hey. Chris just wanted me to drop off these receipts. Oh, well, he's not here. He took off. Okay. Uh-oh. Why don't you just uh, go find Derek? Huh? Fine. It shouldn't be too hard to find him, just to uh, follow the sound of applause. Maybe I will. Maybe I can still catch him. Fine. And while you're up there floating around, remember the day I said this. You are the nuttiest, the stupidest, the phoniest fruitcake I ever met. Will you stand alone on the most arrogant, self-centered... Shut up! Shut your fat mouth. And make me. Make you. <laughs> make you. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bounce you off every wall in this office! Try it, and you'll be walking funny tomorrow. <laughs> Or should I say funnier? You know, you know, I always wanted to pop you one. Maybe this is my lucky day, huh? You disgust me. I hate you. Are you as turned on as I am? More. <laughs> Good, you're still here. Where's Lewis? Because I have some news, and I think you should both. I'm sorry, Harvey. I just had to know. Only love. Only love. Sean. Hey. Hi. Why are you standing in Declan's foyer all by yourself? Creepy? Sort of. Yeah. John, you have solved a lot of cases for the SBPD, but this one was particularly impressive. I mean, Bolivian embassies and international espionage. How did you and Gus do it all by yourself? Well, I'm not going to lie to you, Jules. It was difficult. But now that it's over, I'm ready to put freelance spy on my list of special skills. Well, here's a mystery you can solve for me. Yesterday, I came here after work, and I found three creme brulee dishes by Declan's computer. Any idea who could have eaten all of those? I would say that Declan has uh, an enormous sweet tooth. And that shouldn't be ignored, Jules. Sugar is a gateway drug. Hmm. Well, I guess then it will remain an open case. I guess so. Well, I was just about to head out and do some shopping for the trip. Right, the tri trip, of course. Uh, yeah, have a, have, a, have a great four days off, Jules. It's two weeks, Sean. Wow, that's lengthy. That's significant. That's a real amount of vacation time. Have an amazing trip. Okay? Promise me. Because you, because you know, they, they say that uh, these, these kind of trips are once in a lifetime experiences and that they're even better when you have someone you care about to share them with. And you do. Take lots of pictures, not of sites. Don't take pictures of buildings. Take pictures of moments. That's what matters. Capture them here and hold on to them here. At least that's what I would do. <laughs> I don't know, you, you, you might take blurry photos of, of your espresso at some random cafe. Nobody's after you now. of you Hey. Hey. Thought I might find you in here. I just needed to process the captain's news. I feel so bad for him. So how you holding up? I don't know. I'm still in shock. You? Uh, I'm basically handling it the way I dealt with my dad leaving. Just repressing the hell out of it. So a lot of change around here, huh? Speaking of, I am well aware that you and I have yet to talk about what happened that night. Yes. That night. And I've certainly had the time to think about it, so. Oh. 
I feel like I'm waiting for a drum roll or something. It's just, you know, you have to make choices in life. Carry on, right or wrong. So. Jack, I heard you say there's nothing you'd miss if you left Toledo. I would miss you. I think I'm just, I'm afraid that if I admit to liking anything in Toledo, I'll get pulled into the escalator gears and ground to a fleshy pulp. I, I, I like you and I'm glad I met you and I don't know, I, I don't know, you just you make me happy to be in Toledo. I'm just saying I, I, I don't want to date anybody else. I actually feel the same way. You do? Yeah. That's why I, I just ended things with Nico. So. You did? You guys been dating this entire time? Not the whole time. Oh. We were not exclusive. Wow. No, I know. Were you not dating other people? No. Lame. Okay. God. Oh, my hero. Yeah. Sweet. You're turning blue. Someday soon I'll just live over yonder. Bring you coffee to taste. Love wins. To ponder and I hope you're well. I'm sorry about all that. I must be in love. It doesn't even bother me that you come with them. <laughs> Lovely night, isn't it? Mm. Stars are out. It's a nice breeze. Mm. Night blooming jasmine. Of course, there's the beautiful girl. Dr. Crane, I still haven't answered your question. Yes, I know. That's why I keep talking. <laughs> In case I don't get the answer I want, I can at least make this moment last a little longer. I'm not sure if it's jasmine or orange blossoms. You know, a lot of times... Oh, for God's sake, Dr. Green! He's great. Yeah, I think I am. Um, I have to go. I will. Listen, Jim.
Zach, will you dance with me? Sure. Zach, I don't know how to thank you for tonight. We're together. That's enough. <laughs>